So these defending yourself, martial arts, whatever type of combat, is it as easy as it seems? Is it as straightforward as it seems? Like in the films, you know, when you watch John Wick or a transporter, you know, with Jason Statham or anything like that, and you see the fight scenes and they're just blocking everything and it's nice and it flows. Um, a lot of Kung Fu films like the Jackie Chan movies, Jet Li, you know, and it's all choreographed, of course. No, okay, that's your answer, it's not, okay, this is not a choreographed fight scene, it's not uh, something that you premeditate, you know, you know what's going to happen, the person's not going to tell you, I'm going to come at you with a jab and a hook and you're going to block it, it's not like it is in the dojo or uh, wherever you train, okay, this is a spontaneous thing that's going to happen and you don't know what's going to come at you, so what I'm trying to explain is now, I'm going to do this with a simple if someone comes at you with a simple jab, do I know they're going to come at you with a simple jab? No, I don't, okay? So, for example, when you're in a, uh, when you're learning a specific art, and I'm not going to target any art, but they say, right, now, he's going to come at you with a left jab. Block, oh, yeah? Block, oh, block, right, you block it, okay? Now, I don't know that's going to happen. The only thing I can tell that gives me a slight idea of what hand this person is going to hit with is I take a glance down at their feet, yeah? Now, nine times out of ten, whatever foot is further in front than the other, that's the hand they're going to lead with, yeah? That's the hand they're going to try and hit you with first. If they're standing like this in their guard, then I expect that they're going to hit me with their lead hand. If someone comes at me with their rear hand, that's very unorthodox and quite unexpected. So most of the time, they're going to hit with the lead hand. So take a glance at their feet. Even if their foot is slightly, slightly in front, you know that they've placed their weight this way because they're going to plant this one first, okay? That's one idea that they might give you, one indication that they might as tell you what hand they're going to hit first. What punch are they going to do? I don't know, okay? They could come at me with a hook, they could come at me with a straight punch, they could even come over the top. The only indication of what punch is going to happen is when it starts to move. Now, a hook is easy; it's easier to see. So is an overhand strike because it has to travel from here to there, from there to there. So they're going to do some sort of movement before they come in with it, yeah? So another part of the body is going to move that you're going to see. A jab comes straight through. So I'm prepared, I'm thinking of the jab first because that's the one I'm going to react quickest to. If it ends up being a hook, fantastic, then I've blocked it anyway, right? So if this person comes to again, I'm not going to do this light thing. If he comes in, I'm prepared. I might even be standing here trying to calm the person down. Whatever happens, my hands are here. I'm not down here, okay? I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm here because if the hook comes in, I'm going to... I'm prepared, right? If the jab comes in, I'm turning to the side and I'm, sh I'm chopping down with both hands. I'm not going to do one little one because again, I don't know how strong this person is. He might have a very strong forearm, a very strong punch and he might go through that, yeah? Again, I'm moving my, my body but I'm shifting my shoulders out of his eye line, yes? I'm turning away. I'm not just blocking it and staying in front of him because it might go through. Then that gives that one uh, the opportunity to come around. So if I stand here, that's going to come out nice and easy. But if that jab comes in and I shift to the side, then I've got it. Now I'm going to grab onto this. See my hand, I've grabbed onto his wrist. I'm going to pull him this way while I hammer fist that way or chop that way. So I'm opening out. Yes, pulling him in, striking out. Okay, so I'm here. I don't know what he's going to do. He throws a jab. Boom. I'll come straight outside. Now I've got a nice hammer fist in there. From here, I'm crashing down on that because I'm expecting this one now, okay? Because what's going to come after that? He'll probably swing that. That's all he's got left. Oh, he's going to swing that. I'm in again. Yeah, two hands straight through, and I've got him now. I'm just going to go to town. Now, again, as you know, if you follow my channel, I'm nice and close. This is where I work. Yes? Boom, this is where I work. And I'm up close and personal. So again, unpredictable. We don't know what he's going to throw. Take a glance down at the person's feet. His left foot is slightly forward, so I'm expecting this one. I'm keeping my hands here, you know. 
in a, in a sort of surrendering position, but also my guard is up. He throws that, he throws that um, jab, boom, to the side, put him in, ha! Yes, crash down that, boom! And I'm straight for that. Yep. I hope what I'm telling you is making sense, okay? I'm trying to give you a realistic approach to self-defense and combat. Again, it's not a film out there. It's not a game. You're not on the Xbox or the PS5. It's reality. You don't know what they're going to come with. You don't know what they've got in their pocket, okay? Again, preemptive strike. If someone puts their hands near their pockets while they're arguing with your friend and you, I would hit them first. I don't care. I don't know what he's going to pull out. If he puts his hand in his pocket, well, straight away I'm going in. Because it's better that, that than he gets that knife and sticks it in your belly on your chest or whatever and kills you. Okay, I want to go home that night. I want to go back to my family. Anyway, hope that makes sense. Uh, follow me, subscribe, No Nonsense Combat, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And I hope to see you again soon. Guys, give me some ideas. Throw something at me. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, until then, you stay safe, look after yourselves, and look after each other.